Hello Tinkerers and welcome back to part two. You've got your basic metal and now we're going to enhance it. How can we enhance it? Well we can enhance it in a number of ways and I'm sure you've got a lot more ideas than me but I'm going to show you a couple of ways that are really interesting. One is to import an STL file and we change what we're going to look at is a base plate and another way is by adding extra words and maybe putting some curve words in and some different graphics. So first off let's look at how we could change the base plate and make it interesting. I'm going to get rid of my Nasset and my little charm. Move them out away for time being. And I'm going to take and have a look at this base plate. So what I want to do is I want to import an STL file to change that base plate. I've made a few here and these are the ones that are available. If you click on the link below you can download the STL files that allow you to create any of these designs. One of my favorites is the dots. So I'm going to show you how to do the dots, but it, how you do the dots is the same way as how you do any other. So first off, I need to import that file. So I go to import, choose the file, find the location where I've downloaded the files. I'm going to go for dots today. Open that file up. It tells me the scale I want it to work on, length, width, and height. So let's import that file. It puts it directly on your work plane, right in the middle. Was absolutely excellent. So here is my dots. So what I need to do is I need to cut out my metal shape out of these dots. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that by making an inverse cut of my base plate. So my base plate at the moment is a cylinder. I'm just going to make that nice and tall so it's nice and clear. And then what I'm going to do is grab a box. I'm going to cover up all these dots. Time being. And then just bring it down low enough so I can see my cylinder in the middle. Because at the end of the day, that is what I want to cut out. So basically, I'm going to create that as a hole within my giant box. Here we go. So I've created a hole. Now I'm going to hold shift, select them both. And I'm going to cut that hole out of my giant box. There you go. And now I can see I've got basically the inverse of my metal. And then I need to do the, precisely the same. I need to turn this box into a hole and then I need to select my dots so I just select them both and then group them and then again cut out my dots and there you go I've cut out my base plate the right size and shape how amazing is that and basically that's what I can do for all of these just import a different file create an inverse of your base plate cut it out and I can create some really unique metal designs that definitely would only come about because of 3d printing and all i do is take this my nasa and my rocket and i can just literally move them back on there you go that's one way i can enhance my metal how else could i enhance my metal well instead of just having straight nasa signs i could do some curved writing so if i go and look for some curved writing in shape generator if you go into features i've got some uh, curved words i can bring them on there you go, so I could have some curved words that could go around my metal. They're quite thin at the moment, so let's bring them up a bit. So grab that, let's bring them so they're nice. What's the size of my rims? Eight, isn't it? So let's type that into eight. There we go, and I've got my metals I want, obviously. Let's just get rid of NASA out of the way for the time being. Let's make them nice and bright so I can see them. And then I can obviously, I don't want to write around here, I don't want it to say right around here. We're... So I don't want right here, I'm going to make a medal that is Mission to Mars. So Mission to Mars. And then how big do I want my writing? I don't want it 12, let's bring it up to like say 16. There we go, that brings it out a little bit. And it needs to be highlighted, it's a bit too wide at the moment, so I need to play around with my radius. So it's 21, uh, 20, sorry, 22 at the moment. Let's bring it down to 18 and see what a difference that makes. Made any difference? Oh, it's catching up with itself. There you go. Use my arrow keys if I want to adjust it slightly. How's that looking? So it's going around the edge of my metal. Zoom in a bit. How is that looking? That's looking pretty cool, isn't it? So I've got my mission to Mars around the outside. What I could do with this, maybe, is actually if I move this up a bit, I could put Mission to Mars on the outside because the fantastic thing about 3D printing is I can put it all together. Now my radius is uh, too small. So let's take that radius back out to, let's say, 23. 
my computer to work it out, which takes a little bit more time. There we go. Does this fit on the outside yet? Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Maybe one more, 24. Yeah, fit nicely on the outside of my rim. Here we go. It needs to make sure it's all connected into my rims because if the letters have got a gap in between, then it's going to not print and it will print off as a separate letter. There we go. So I've got Mission to Mars around the outside and then I can bring this back down, make sure it's touching my letters and it will be a connection as well. So that will print off because it'll, it's connected there. It's connected there. It's a tiny bit in there. So I could just bring it all the way through or I can make it thinner. So I bring my thick thinness down to, let's just say, five, same as my base plate. And then obviously my letters would stand proud on top, wouldn't they? So it'd go over the top, and that would look pretty cool. Go around, so there you go. So that goes into that. Oh, I need to bring it. See, it's got a little bit of a gap, so just bring it in one more. There you go. So now my ribbon can go through there. My letters stand on top. They're the same width as my outer rim. And I've got Mission to Mars on the outside, haven't I? And let's bring NASA back in. That's looking pretty cool. What a cool medal I have. Anyway, I'm sure you can come up with better ideas than me. Like I say, the STL files I provided with the link below, you can do all these types of medals. You can obviously come up with your own design. They don't have to be round. It could be any shape we have got in Tinkercad. So it's up to you how you move on from this point. But... That is the basics of creating a really interesting and funky medal. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with with your own ideas.